Okay, this is uh, my unboxing for the Intel i9. This is the uh, 12th generation uh, 12900K. Um, after obviously picking up this thing um, and the memory, uh, makes sense to pick up the CPU. Um, so this is a, a little bit of an unboxing again, and then uh, I'm gonna probably try to put this thing inside of the uh, motherboard. Let's see here, so. Go across there, open this thing up. Box looks kind of cool, has this kind of weird uh, um, wafer <laughs> in the inside. Let's see if I can pop this thing open. And the chip is inside of the thing. All right. So put that over there. See if you can see that. It's very shiny. Uh, it says Intel. No. Let's see. Let's pry the thing open. There is a chip. From the previous versions, you can kind of see that the uh, the chip has more of a rectangle shape instead of a square. Uh, I think that's all there is to that. <clears throat> let's see, let's pop this thing open. side okay double check that yeah see the triangle that bottom corner there, it's a triangle right there. Probably uh, take some closer pictures of this. Uh, might as well just do it now. That way I can kind of uh, add this into the video later. The other thing you can do is uh, have the text on the chip facing the correct way. nifty now the other thing to talk about is how it seems that uh, when people are uh, doing these new egg um, raffles and such they uh, they end up taking the DDR4 or sorry the DDR5 and trying to get rid of the motherboards. So, on Newegg, I found this. So, the, the plan uh, is to kind of initially play with the uh, Aurorus for a bit. Um, right now, the way it works is that this actually can't handle SLI. Um, and I do have two cards that I want to try in an SLI mode. Uh, but for one card, this will be perfectly fine and for, for gaming and, and whatnot. Um, and then possibly some overclocking as well. Um, the, the feature with this Gigabyte is that 
the DDR5, just like the CPU um, kind of uh, turbos up and down. Uh, simil and, and, and similarly, the, the DDR5 uh, with this motherboard is supposed to have that kind of uh, functionality, but I don't really know if that's the case. Um, it's supposed to be part of the DDR5 spec moving forward in the future generations. It might be that Aurus has uh, implemented this um, ahead of time. If not, then it, it'll just be DDR5 just behaving normally. Um, now, for the ROG Maximus um, Apex. Uh, the Apex boards have quite a reputation. Um, so pretty excited to try this one out. And this one actually um, has two slots that can be used for an SLI type configuration. So if I wanted to do some overclocking um, with video cards, uh, this is the one to do it with. But I have a feeling that this one would be actually pretty strong at overclocking just one uh, GPU. So we'll give that a try and, and, and see how that is. Um, I think that's it for this video. Uh, peace out.